All right, everybody, let's welcome to another edition of The Breakdown, or not The Breakdown, that's the old show, The Opinion. Let's welcome to another edition of The Opinion Sports Show. I got my opinion, you got yours. I ain't got a lot of time, y'all don't either, so let's get right into it. This is going to be a controversial topic for uh, one particular fan base, but hey, I have to speak the truth. And you know what? I'm actually a part of that fan base, but hey, I have to speak the truth as well. And let's talk about the 49ers outlook in 2022, in the 2022 slash 2023, because the playoffs part of the playoffs and the Super Bowl spill over into 2023, but it's recognized as the 2022 season as well. So let's talk about the San Francisco 49ers outlook in this season. Now, we know last year they added a, a, an extra game to the regular season. So now we're, we're playing we're playing an extra game, uh, which is uh, which is 17 games and 18 uh, weeks and everything as well. So with that being said, and then there's also seven teams that make the playoffs on both sides. They did that about two years ago um, as well, as far as making changes to the rules and things like that. You know, I don't know exactly what the 49ers record is going to be. But one thing I can tell you is, is that I don't have the 49ers making the playoffs. And the primary reason that I do not have the 49ers making the playoffs in 2022, yes, they have talent. They've got some talent on defense. They've got elite talent on offense, you know, at the skill positions and things like that. But the primary reason I do not have the 49ers making the playoffs is one, Trey Lance. They are not going to make the playoffs because of Trey Lance. I think I, I saw some stats from his that somebody had tweeted uh, from, from training camp thus far. He had five touchdowns four interceptions, and the biggest part of it is, is that his his completion percentage was like 51%. So numbers like that is what you can expect to see uh, from Trey Lance um, and everything as well. And I believe one of those touchdowns, he had actually ran in one of those touchdowns as well. So if you look at it from the passing perspective, he had, it was four and four. Not very impressive. And if you, can, if you, think, it, if you think about it, Although Trey Lance is a young quarterback, this will be his first year to really take over and be the full-time starter of the uh, San Francisco 49ers. He was brought in to take the 49ers to the next level, not keep them the same. Because if you have to ask yourself, if Trey Lance was brought in to keep the 49ers the same, what was the point in giving up three first-round draft picks for a guy to keep for, for, for somebody to basically keep your team the same? You could have either kept Jimmy Garoppolo or went out and got somebody that's already in the NFL to do the exact same thing that Jimmy Garoppolo is doing. But actually, I think you're going to get out of Trey Lance less than what you got out of Jimmy Garoppolo. And the season can't come fast. This has been the longest offseason because I've had to deal with other 49ers fans telling me how great Trey Lance is going to be and how great the, and how much this guy is going to take the team to the next level. And really, what a lot of you 49ers fans are expecting are, you think Trey Lance is Patrick Mahomes. You really do. I mean, you, you don't want to come out and admit it, but you think Trey Lance is Patrick Mahomes. You guys try to show these highlights of him just fitting balls into tight windows with a strong arm. And yeah, I'll admit he has a strong arm, but he ain't as accurate as, Pat, as Patrick Mahomes. When I seen Trey Lance play last year in the couple of games he started, nothing about him ringed out Patrick Mahomes. When, when Patrick Mahomes first played for the Kansas City Chiefs, he, he didn't have to play an entire season or he didn't even have to play a regular season game for you to know that Patrick Mahomes was the real deal. When you saw him in preseason games, you were like, oh, this is way different than, than this is way different than what we're getting from Alex Smith. With Trey Lance, you're not going to get Patrick Mahomes. So like I said, you guys don't believe me right now, but the season will show you better than I can tell you. And what I'm telling you is, is that the 49ers, they're not going to make the playoffs. One is going to be Trey Lance, is that Trey Lance is not as good as what you guys think he is. Two, the schedule is a whole lot tougher. So the 49ers, not only, not only are they playing the teams in their own division, which are the defending Super Bowl champions, the Rams, the Arizona Cardinals, who will probably be beat up, well, not beat up, but they'll have some guys suspended at the beginning of the year, Hopkins, and now we got uh, Marquise Hollywood Brown. He's probably going to face some kind of suspension at the beginning of the year. But by the time the 49ers start playing them, those guys would probably be back um, and everything as well. And then, and, and then you have the Seahawks, which, I mean, at this point, we don't even know who their quarterback is, or at least I don't. So essentially from, so essentially from that particular standpoint, um, 
essentially from that particular standpoint, that may be the only team that you're better than. But outside of playing every team in your division twice, the, the NFC West also has to play the AFC West. And I think that every team in the AFC West got better, maybe except for the Chiefs because they lost Tyreek Hill, but they got Patrick Mahomes. So do they really need him to win? I don't think so. But every team in the AFC West got better. So they have to play the AFC West. Then they have to play the NFC South. Uh, the, the New Orleans Saints are always sneaky good. Now we'll have to see what they do under new coach because uh, Sean Payton is no, no longer there, but we'll have to see what, what they do under the new coach. The Panthers should be, at least be improved. Baker Mayfield should at least improve them. And then we don't know what the Falcons are going to do because their quarterback situation is kind of up in the air. You know, with, 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 you know they, they drafted a new quarterback and then they brought in Mark, Marcus Mariota to kind of be a, a, a time-passing type guy. But we, all, what, what we do know what Tampa is going to be. So essentially, if you look at the 49ers schedule to start the season off, it starts off pretty easy. And, if, and, and I put it like this. If the 49ers lose any one of the first two games against the Bears, and I think they're playing the Seahawks second, I believe. You guys can fact check that, but I know the Bears are first. I know their first two games, their first two games don't pop off on paper and say these are hard games. If the 49ers lose either one of the first two games, then this is going to confirm what I believe. And I'm not saying they're going to lose the first two games. I think they're up against it anyway. But if they lose one of the first two games, this is going to confirm for me that this team's not going to be good when you when you look at their schedule. And then when you look at their schedule between week seven all the way to week 14. Now, granted, most of those games are at home with one, I believe, being in Mexico City. But most of those games are at home. But between week seven and week 14, that is murderer's row. And you guys think Trey Lance is going to take you through that slate? You, you, you basically have Kansas City and L.A. back to back. Then, then I believe there's a bye week that comes in there. And then mixed in there, you, you have Tampa mixed in there. You have New Orleans mixed in there. You have Miami, Dolphins mixed in there. And you have the Arizona Cardinals all in that slate between week seven and and week 14, and you think Trey Lance is going to take you through that? And the thing is, most of those games are at home. Most of those games are going to be at home. And you know what's going to happen? When, when people realize that Trey Lance is not what they thought he is, they're going to turn on, they're going to turn on Kyle Shanahan. And they're not going to turn on Kyle Shanahan and in the, in the management for giving up the picks to get him. They're going to turn on Kyle Shanahan and say that Shanahan can't develop Trey Lance and therefore he needs to be replaced so that so so, so that the 49ers can get a coach in there that can develop Trey Lance because people are not going to want to admit that they were wrong about Trey Lance you know I, I you know yeah was I a Jimmy Garoppolo fan absolutely but you know I'm not saying Jimmy Garoppolo was the best but you at least hold on to a, a guy like a caliber of Jimmy Garoppolo at least you can go get something better not go get something that you don't know anything about and I already know about Trey Lance. He, this, this, this team is not going to this. This is, And you guys are going to be talking about this is going to be the most wasted season and wasted collection of talent ever because they're not going to the playoffs. I'm, I'm just telling you. And after this, the 49ers will be on the down decline because, because George Kittle, as a tight end getting hit and banged up, he, he's not going to ever be the same. Debo Samuel got his contract. I mean, I'm not going to say he's not going to be the same. Then you got Brandon Ayuk. You, you have aging players. Um, on this team that they'll still be good, but they're not going to be at the top of their game um, and everything as well. So you guys just just keep in mind what I said. They're not going to make the playoffs. That 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 I know. And the main reason they're not going to make the playoffs is because of Trey Lance. And the one thing that you Trey Lance and you Jimmy G haters will have to live with is is that when they don't make the playoffs, assuming that Trey and I hope Trey Lance is relatively healthy the majority of the year. When they don't make the playoffs, the, the all-time stat will be, the all-time saying will be is, is that when Jimmy Garoppolo was relatively healthy, the 49ers made the playoffs. Not only did they make the playoffs, they made the Super Bowl one year, and they were really, really close to making the Super Bowl again when Jimmy Garoppolo was healthy. But when Trey Lance is healthy, you guys are not going to be able to say that same thing. And another thing, I don't want to hear the excuse of this being his first year, because if I go back to the beginning, he was brought in to take this team to another level and do things that Jimmy Garoppolo can't do. He can run. He has a strong arm. He can push the ball down the field. We, we understand those things because when you have a strong arm, you, whether you're accurate or not, you can push it downfield. So if anything, even though it's his first year, he should be able to at least give you what Jimmy Garoppolo gives you in terms of win probability of the team. 
And then later on, that, that's where he can improve and really excel his game and then take him to the next level. So if he, if, his, if he gives you a less win probability than Jimmy G in his first year, he's not what you guys think he is. And I think you're going to find that out in the 2022 season. What say you? Leave your comments. I'm out.